What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a 30 minute full body, no equipment Pilates workout. If we've not met before, hi, my name's Margaret, I'm 26. I'm a certified Pilates instructor currently in Colorado, but not for very long. This is going to be a 30 minute workout. It is a part of my on-demand programming. I'm doing a daily 30 minute workout for my Pilates membership, and I'll leave that information down in the description. Uh, just remember, if you like this workout, you can join along for the following months with us. We'll be doing 30 minutes every day. With that, we're gonna go ahead and hop right into the workout. We're gonna go ahead and get started. I want you to find a comfortable seat on your mat, whether that's cross-legged or legs out in front of you. Maybe you want to sit in butterfly if that's a little bit more comfortable on your hips. We'll take hands right to the tops of the legs and then give me one big roll of the shoulders, opening up through the front of the body, rolling the shoulders down and back, reaching the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. It'll be four big deep breaths right here. We'll inhale through the nose, filling the body up with air. And then we'll exhale out, let all of that air go. Good, three more like that, nice, big inhale. And then we'll exhale out, let it go. Good, this will be two, big inhale. And then we'll exhale out, let it go. Good, this will be two, big inhale. And then we'll exhale out, let it go. This will be our last one. Big deep breath. Breathing in through the nose. Think about filling the rib cage from side to side, from front to back, and then exhale out through the mouth. Let it all go. Good. With that last exhale, we'll reach the arms so they go out into a T. You can flip your palms towards me if that's going to be more comfortable for you, or if you like palms down, that's fine too. I'm going to go kind of palms halfway in between. We'll inhale, lift the arms so they come up overhead, reaching the fingertips up towards the ceiling, and then exhale, squeeze a little bit from underneath the armpits. Take your arms right back down in line with your shoulders. Just three more like that. We'll inhale, reach up, and then exhale, bring it down. Good, we'll go for two. And then bring it down. And this will be our last one. Good, arms will come back down through center and then you'll take the arms in front of you, pointing the fingertips to me, pause right there. Left arm stays still, I'm mirroring you just so that you know if you haven't been with me before. We'll inhale, open out to the right, reaching out through those right fingertips, opening up through the chest. And then we exhale, take it right back to center. Right arm stays in place, we'll inhale, reach out through the left side and then exhale, bring it right back in. We'll do two more each side, opening out to the right, coming through center, and then we'll go to the left, through center, one more each side, over to the right, and then to the left. Good, we'll take it back around through center. Both hands will come down by your sides. Right hand's gonna slide out a little bit away from you. We'll reach the left arm up and around overhead. Nice big side body stretch. Pressing down into our left hip, finding length from the middle finger all the way down to the hip. Good, big inhale right there. And then we're gonna exhale, press it back up to center. Left hand will come down, right arm will reach up. Nice big side body stretch. Again, you can slide out a little bit through the left hand, pressing down into the hip, reaching up through the fingertips. Big inhale. And then exhale, we'll press it right back up to center. Now, once you get there, we're gonna swing things around. Legs will come out in front of you. I just want you to bend at your knees, plant your feet down onto the mat. Excuse me, we'll inhale, reach the arms out in front of us. Um, take a breath to sit up tall, and then you're going to exhale, draw your belly button in towards your spine. I want you to roll off of your sits bones, starting to roll down in your spine. We'll just start off nice and slow, and we'll keep it pretty slow. Shoulders come down, head will drop down, arms will reach back. Take a big inhale right there. And then exhale, let's lift the arms above the shoulders. We'll tuck chin to chest, drawing in through the belly button, pressing into the hips, pressing into the heels. You roll all the way up. And then once you come up, I want you to lift the arms up overhead. Okay, we're gonna do four more like that, lowering the arms in line with the shoulders, tucking in through um, the low abs, pulling the belly button in. Couldn't find the words there. Shoulders go down, head goes down, arms reach back, big inhale. And then exhale to lift the arms above the shoulders, tuck the chin to the chest. You're pressing into your hips, you're pressing into your heels, rolling all the way up, and then lifting the arms up as you come up through center. Good. I think I said four, but if I didn't, I meant four. This is going to be three. We'll roll things down, shoulders down, head down, arms reach back. 
And then exhale, arms above the shoulders, tuck the chin to the chest, draw the belly button in, press into the hips, press into the heels, lift those arms all the way up. Awesome, this is gonna be two going back. Good, shoulders down, head down, arms reach back, big inhale. And then exhale, take the arms above the shoulders, tuck chin to chest, you're gonna roll everything up, lifting those arms up. Awesome, this will be our last one, lowering the arms down in line with the shoulders, drawing the belly button in, pulling the hips closer towards the ribs, shoulders dropping down, head goes down, arms reach back, take that big inhale. And then one last time we exhale, roll all the way up through center, pressing down into the hips, into the heels. Once you come up through seated, you'll inhale round forward through the upper body. I want you to think about spreading the shoulder blades apart, finding length from shoulder to shoulder. Good, big inhale right here. And then we're gonna exhale out, let it go. Perfect. From right there, we're gonna lay ourselves all the way down onto our mat. Okay, knees are gonna come up above the hips. We're gonna do a little bit of dead bug action right here, okay? So knees come above the hips, shins parallel to the ceiling. Your hands are gonna press into the tops of your legs and I want you to push your arms out to straight. Um, once you press the arms out to straight, that's how you'll know that your knees are above your hips and if you have a mirror or something you can look into, you'll be able to see that alignment, okay? So we're pressing hands into legs and then legs into hands, finding a little bit of tension for ourselves. I want you to take an inhale. You're gonna reach the right arm back as you tap the right toes down. Exhale, you're gonna pull it right back in through center. Okay, we keep going like that on the right side, reaching the right arm back, tapping the right toes down, and then exhaling to pull through center. We'll reach back and then take it in. Isn't that so annoying when you're working out and you get a call on your Apple watch? I don't remember if I said a number. Let's just do three more, reaching back and then pulling in. We'll go back and then in. Last one, we're gonna go back, pull it in, reset through center, okay? Move around a little bit if you need to. Remember, we're still pressing hands into legs, legs into hands, creating that tension, creating, um, I, have somebody who, I know somebody who calls it tensegrity in the body, right? So whatever that means to you, create some tensegrity through the muscles and through the core. We'll do that same thing on the other side, holding the right side still, you'll inhale, reach the left arm back, tap the left toes down, exhale, pull it back to center, inhale, reach back, exhale, pull in. Good, reach back, pull in, we'll go back and in. Let's do four more. Four, for three, for two, and then last one. We'll take things right back in from here. Right hand's gonna move so it comes behind the head. You'll open up through the elbow. Take your left hand to the top of your right leg, pointing fingertips out. Your elbow's gonna point out to the left. Now we're pressing left hand into right leg. All we're gonna do is tap the left toes down pull them right back up, tap down, lift up. Good, for four more, four, for three, for two, and then last one. Good, we're gonna come through center, hold your leg right there. We're gonna move through the upper body, crunching over towards the right. So still pressing your left hand into your right leg. You're going to take a big exhale, crunch up through head, neck, and shoulders. You're twisting over towards the right. And then inhale, you're gonna lower right back down. That's all it is. Twist up, pressing down into the right shoulder, maybe even the right elbow, and then lower back down for three more. Three. For two. And then last one. Good, we'll come back down through center. We're just gonna adjust coming over to the other side. Left hand behind the head. Right hand's gonna come to the top of the left leg, pointing the right fingertips to the left, pointing the elbow out to the right. You're pressing your hand into your leg, your leg into your hand. We'll hold right there, taking the right toes. You're gonna tap down and then lift up. Tap down, lift up, tap down, Lift up, good, for four more, four, for three, 
for two. And then last one, we're gonna lift back up, holding the legs there. This crunch feels a little bit unnatural and I know that. We're pressing the hand into the leg. You're gonna reach up and over, pressing the left shoulder down, lifting up on the right side and then inhale, take it right back down. Okay, you're pressing the leg away from you, but also pressing the hand towards you. Okay, and that right leg has to stay still. Kind of tricky, let's go for three more. Three. For two. And then last one. Good. We'll take it down through center. Once you get there, you'll hug your knees into your chest. Okay. You're just going to rock a little bit from side to side. Take a deep breath. You've got it. You're doing good from right here. We're going to roll ourselves over so that we come onto our right side, right? Hips going to come down. You'll lay all the way onto um, your right arm. I like to bend my elbow and make a little pillow for my head with the bicep. If you'd prefer to prop your head up in your hands, if you're more comfortable there, go ahead and take it there. We'll bend both of the knees, stacking the hips, the knees, and the feet. And I want you to flex both of your feet, pressing into the bottom edge of your right foot. From here, we lift the left leg up. I want you to take an inhale. You're going to turn the knees in towards each other, lifting up through that left foot, tap the knees lift back up to hip height, and then tap the heels together, opening up at the knee. Okay, so we tap the knees, we'll open up, tap the heels. Good. And we'll just keep going like this. As you continue to move here, I want you to just check in with uh, the right side of your body. There should be a little bit of space there between you and your mat. Okay, good. Awesome. Okay. This is going to be the style of class for our like 30 minute Monday classes. It's going to be full body, no equipment. It's a little bit more gentle, right? But all my classes, I'd say move <laughs> at, uh, I'd say kind of a slower pace, but this one and uh, our stretch on Sundays will be pretty much the only ones with no equipment. Okay. So if you like this, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> Okay, let's just do three more because right now we're feeling the hip burn up a little bit. Let's go three for two. And then last one. Good. With that last one, you're going to take your left knee back up in line with your hip, flexing at your foot. You keep this 90 degree bend. You're going to push your foot back so that now your knee comes down in line with your hip. You got a straight line from knee to hip. And then exhale, we're going to fold at the hip crease, pulling the knee forward. Okay. And you can pull it past the hip crease if that feels okay. If you can kill, still, sorry, if you can still keep your hip stacked right there. Now, as you're pressing the leg back behind you, it's going to get a little bit shaky. So what I'm going to recommend you do is press into the outside edge of your right foot. That will help you to feel a little bit more anchored into your mat, staying heavy through the outside of that right knee, staying heavy in that right hip. It's like, it feels borderline like a stretch, but it's very much not. Let's do three more right here. Three. Good for two. And then last one. Good, you're gonna pull your leg back forward, knee right in line with the hip, 90 degree bend, flex at your foot. Give me a big exhale, open up through that left leg and then inhale, bring it right back down. Good, now remember if you like these workouts, I'm doing daily 30 minute workouts, probably for a couple of months at least, really so I can build up my on-demand library. But if you're watching this on YouTube and you like these, um, you can join my Pilates membership and you can get these every day. If you're watching this on the membership, hey, leave a comment. <laughs> leave a comment. Let me know that you liked it. Okay, let's do four more. We'll go four for three. For two, keep it nice and slow. 
And then last one, one last little bit to do right here. We'll lower the left knee down in line with the hip. Keep it right there. You're going to point your toe, kick your leg to me, and then bend your knee, pull it right back in. You'll kick to me and then bend your knee. Okay. That's all it is, right? You can do it for six more. You totally can for six. Good for five, four, three, two, last one. And then we'll bend the left knee. You're going to pull the leg down. Take a second, tap out through your hip. Good. From right here, we're going to roll all the way over so that we come belly down onto our mat. Hands are going to come just underneath the shoulders. Elbows are going to pull in pretty tight to your body. You'll open your feet out about mat's distance apart and then lower your chest, lower your forehead down to the mat. We'll take an exhale to press away, lifting up through the chest, pointing the gaze forward, but still a little bit down. And then inhale, come all the way back down to your mat. We'll do three more like that, lifting up. And then lowering down. Good. We'll go for two. And then last one. Good. We'll come all the way back down. And then from right here, we're going to reach that right arm out in front of up. Un in front of us, bicep by the ear, left hand's gonna stay down. We'll take a big exhale. You're gonna lift up through the right arm and the left leg and then inhale, take it right back down. And I'm just gonna have you do four more like that. Right arm, left leg, and then lower. Three. For two. And then last one. Good, everything comes down. That right arm slides in, left arm slides out. Okay, give me a big exhale. We lift up the left arm and the right leg. And then inhale, come back down to center. For four more, lift up, lower down. We'll go for three. Try to relax in the right shoulder for two. And then last one. Good. With that last one, hands come underneath the shoulders. You're going to press yourself up so that you come up into a modified plank position. I'm like trying to figure out what the best spot is for me right here. Um, fingertips are going to turn in just slightly. Elbows are going to pull out nice and wide. You'll give me an inhale to bend at the elbows, lowering the chest to the mat. Big exhale, you'll press away and then draw belly button to spine, reach hips to heels. We'll just do six more like that. Six. I mean, usually I make you do 10, but right, we're only here for 30 minutes. Let's go for five, four, three, good, for two, and then last one. Good, we go hips all the way back to the heels, reach the arms long in front of you, take a deep breath. And then from right there, when you're ready, we're just gonna bring ourselves forward. You will reset down onto our left hip and we're gonna take that whole series all again, <laughs> laying all the way down onto our left side. You can bend at the left elbow, making a little pillow for your head with the bicep. Okay, we're gonna pull the knees in. I'm like, I need to situate myself here. Pull the knees in, stack the hips, the knees, stack the feet flex your feet, and then find this little space in between you and your mat. From right there, when you're ready to start moving, we're gonna lift up through our right leg, knee in line with the hip. You'll inhale, tap the knees together, lifting the foot, and then exhale, you'll open up, you'll tap the heels together, opening up at the knee. Okay, we keep going like that, tapping the knees, getting an internal rotation at the hip, and then tapping the heels. We keep going from there, tap the knees, Tap the heels. Good. Knees and heels. Awesome. Knees and heels. I always find for myself, at least, the second side of sideline work like this is often the trickier side. I know for me, I'm mirroring you guys. So this is really my left leg. And I know the left side of my body is definitely not as strong as the right. But for you guys, because this is your right side, you might feel a little bit better 
Um, oftentimes people that are um, right-handed are right side dominant or a little bit stronger on the right side. So maybe you feel better right here and that's awesome. I'm happy for you. Good, let's do three more like this and I'll start counting right here. This is three and two. And then last one. Whew, with that last one, we lift the knee back up in line with the hip, keeping your foot flexed. You have ankle, knee, hip, all in line. Take your right hand in front of you just for some support. You're gonna inhale, press your foot back behind you so that your knee comes down in line with your hip and then exhale, pull your knee forward. Now again, as you press your right leg back, it's gonna get a little bit wobbly on that bottom hip. So really make sure you're staying heavy in that left side, pressing into the outside edge of the foot, pressing into the knee, pressing into the hip, okay? This whole left side is stabilizing you. May seem like the active work is staying on the right hip, and it is, right? But there's a whole lot of passive work happening at the left side body. Good, let's do four more right here. Four, oh, ouch. This is gonna be three. Good, we'll go for two. And then last one, my hip feels like it's gonna fall off. How is your hip doing? Pull your knee right in line with your hip, keep the foot flex. You're gonna exhale, open your leg up, and then inhale, take it right back down. Good, open up, and then bring it down. Good, I promise your hip is not gonna fall off. No matter how much it feels like it, you're gonna make it through, I promise. Good. Open and close. Good, let's just do four more. That'll be more than enough for. Good, for three. This will be two. And then last one. Good, we'll bring the right leg right back down, holding the knee in line with the hip. You're gonna point your toe, kick forward and then bend the knee, pull back in. Kick forward, take it in, keep going from there. Kick forward, pull in, forward, and in. Okay, try to keep the hips as stable as you can for four more, four. <laughs> Ouch, for two, and then last one. Good, with that last one, you'll drop your leg all the way down, take a second, give your hip a couple of taps. Okay, take a deep breath, you've got it under control. From right here, we're gonna pop ourselves up and over so that we come up into a tabletop position. Both hands are gonna go down. Uh, again, you're gonna flip the fingertips in just slightly towards each other. Elbows are gonna um, push out I'd say relatively wide from here. Um, we're gonna keep our left knee down. Right leg is gonna lift up in line with the hip pointing at the toe. We'll take an inhale. You're going to uh, bend at the elbows. We'll take a push up. You're gonna exhale, press away, pause right there, inhale, and then exhale, draw the knee in towards your chest. I think I just hit the microphone there, sorry. We'll inhale, bend the elbows. Exhale, press away, and then draw knee to the chest for four more, four, for three, for two, and then last one. Good, with that last one, we'll take the right knee in. Take a second, breathe. We'll do that exact same thing on the other side. And then we get into our last little push. We'll get into some stretches too, we're right there at the end. Right knee stays down, left leg's gonna lift up. Again, we inhale, shift forward. You're gonna bend at the elbows, lower down. Exhale, press away. Inhale right there, and then exhale, drawing the knee in towards the chest. You're gonna inhale, press it back. Bend at the elbows, press away. Draw the knee into the chest.
Good. I can't remember how many we did on the first side, but four, four more feels like enough. This is going to be three. For two. And then last one. Good, with that last one, we'll take the knee down. You're gonna take a quick child's pose, reaching the arms out in front of you. I'm gonna grab a towel because my hands are getting a little bit sweaty. I know that's TMI, but this table is leather, so it gets a little, a little slick. And as much as I wanna fall, I, I don't really want to. Um, last push right here, we're gonna come up into a plank, both hands down, both feet are going to step back. You got shoulders on top of the wrist. We'll tuck the tailbone under, squeezing through the inner thighs, flexing a little bit into the feet. Take a big inhale right here and then exhale. We bend at the knees. You're gonna shift the hips back towards the heels. Inhale, we'll pull forward for six more. Shifting back, pulling forward. We'll go for five. For four. For three. Two. And then last one. Good, with that last one, you'll drop your knees down, untuck your toes. We're gonna press the hips all the way back to the heels. Finding that child's pose, good news is we made it to the end. We got to take a couple stretches, okay? Whew, take a deep breath. Big inhale to fill everything up with air. See if maybe you can reach out a little bit further into the fingertips. Good, we're gonna exhale out, let it all go. Good, one more big inhale. And then exhale out, let it go. Good, with that, we're gonna bring ourselves up into a tabletop position, both hands down, both knees down. We'll press the tops of the feet into the mat. I want you to take an inhale to arch at the back, open up the chest, draw the shoulder blades together. And then exhale, press into the heels of the hands, curve the spine up, look to the tops of the legs. Two more like that, we'll inhale. Arch the back, open up the chest. Good, and then exhale, press away. Awesome, we're going for one more. I'm hoping you can't hear the wind outside my window. It's loud as heck. Good, and then press away. Awesome, with that last one, we're gonna swing the legs out towards the left and then reach your hips back so that you come up into a seated position. We're just gonna take a figure four stretch from right here. If you'd prefer to lay all the way down on your mat and take it from there, go for it. I like to take it seated, just for me. I think sometimes laying down can be a little bit too much for my hips. Right foot's gonna stay down. We'll cross the left ankle over the top of the right knee. And however you'd like to adjust here, go ahead and adjust. If you need a little bit more, you pull the foot in closer to you. If you need less, you walk your right foot out. Maybe you wanna lower down onto your back and hug the shape into your chest. We'll take a deep breath here, big inhale. And then we can exhale out, let it go. Good, when you're ready, we'll uncross through the left ankle, left foot plants down, we'll cross the right ankle over the top of the knee. Again, pressing up and away from the mat, opening up at the chest, dropping shoulders away from the ears. Maybe you play around with the placement of your left foot. You can walk it in, walk it out, lay down onto your back, hug this shape in. Whatever feels good, we'll take a big inhale. And then we're gonna exhale out, let it all go. Awesome, when you're ready, uncross through the right ankle. We'll slide both of the legs out to straight. I want you to open the feet up so that they're a little bit wider than your hips. And then just flex your feet, push your heels forward, pull the toes back to your nose. We're gonna open the arms out to T right here. I'm right up against a wall, so mine's gonna be kind of like a weird looking T. We'll inhale to twist over towards the right, taking the left hand, you're gonna reach it down to the outside of the right foot. And then you can just take your right hand, place it at your low back. I want you to open up at the shoulders. Good, big inhale. And then we're gonna exhale, pull things back up to center. Both arms come up, we're gonna de-rotate through center. And then take it over the other way. Right hand's gonna reach towards the outside of the left foot, hold right there. Maybe letting the left hand come to the low back pretty gently. Big inhale. And then we're gonna exhale out, let it go. 
Good. When you're ready, we'll pull back up to center. Everything comes down. We're going to take one big inhale, lifting the arms up and around overhead, reaching the fingertips up to the ceiling, anchoring the hip bones down into the mat. Big inhale, and then when you're ready, just exhale, hinge at the hips while forward fold, reaching down for the feet. Take an inhale there, fill everything up with air. And then exhale out, we can let it all go. Good. When you're ready, you'll start to roll things all the way back up. You can pull the legs in and you are all finished for the day. Hopefully you enjoyed this workout. If you did, as always, please let me know down in the comments. And if you want more 30 minute workouts, just like this one, consider joining my Pilates membership. Again, like I said at the beginning of this workout, I have an on-demand program that is going to be 30 minute workouts daily, at least through August. If you want more of that, that's where you can find that. The information's down in the description. Remember, you guys are awesome. You can do anything you put your mind to and I will see you in our next video.